Got my guitar, I've got my wine Where we can go You're going to join us for lunch? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, he's taking us to Apex yeah. or something, a bit of a tradition. Come on, boys. We're going to see the rest of the brass up. <laughs> he's going. the oh. tour guide. Uh, Tobes, we're going to be a couple of minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready to rock. So uh, I think we're going to head off to uh, Koleski's now. Oh, look after the wines. We need a roll. Probably came out for one of our new institutions. We've had the bowling alley here for a very long time. Uh, but now we have the 18 hole mini golf course. So, uh, I mean, the region has everything. It's <laughs> So the infamous Kramer's Crossing, we're probably approaching it from the uh, most dangerous. Go! Shit! Feel that raw talk of the combi. It just winds and it. So you notice the, uh, the palm trees? Now I've heard mixed stories on why those palm trees are planted. Yes. During the depression, yes. to keep people to keep people in get, work, they would actually get them out planting yeah, palm so trees. Yes, like winemakers and all those kind yeah. of guys. So the families kept them employed by planting the planting palm, palm trees. Yeah. There you go. A Barossum fact. Fact one. Greenock is considered a, a pretty good sub-region of Barossa, isn't it? It's also home to a lot of exciting winemakers. So you've got Damien Sharkey out here. The Koleski boys and Torbrick's out here as well. Yeah. I think it's one of the most exciting sub-regions we have in the Bros at the moment. Alright Justin, so Koleski, I've got some facts for you. Bring them on. They were the first certified organic vineyard and winery in the Brossa. Yeah, right. And the first grape grower for Penfolds to have their vineyard make grains three years in a row. So Tony, I'm sort of uh, trying to show for these guys, well not show for I'm not driving luckily, but uh, trying to get these guys around the process of interesting places, so I thought we'll pop out here. We'll hunt down Troy's probably around this way somewhere. Right. You in nice there Troy? Day. Knock oh, knock. Hey, just having a nap. Hey, yeah. 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 Sleeping dream vintage again. Yeah, that's, that's it. You guys that's doing it. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. So, Troy, Troy, the issue is, is that the boys, uh, the boys have come here from Hunter in the hills. Ah. And so they've tried some Shiraz and I think so, so, they've got a bit of a preconception maybe built up of what okay. Barossa Shiraz yeah, right. is going to look like. <laughs> I think we're surprised a little bit there's not just bull terrors here in the Barossa. Yeah. Yeah. I was always behind you. I was always Talk to this man. Let's get his impressed, is he? Oh, long time. Fan. Yeah. <laughs> I've always said no one makes Shiraz in Australia like the Barossa. Oh. <laughs> now we'll just go straight to the top, we'll skip in between. The we'll um, have our Johan Gale Shiraz. And this is from the oldest vines on the block? Yep, our 1875 planting of Shiraz. Wow. So that's our oldest remaining vineyard on the property today. 135 years yeah. old. <laughs> That's astonishing though. Know. I mean, 100... it, it is. I mean, it's pretty amazing to have, have vineyards that old. Low yielding vineyard, plenty of just good intensity and concentration and flavour there. I can't remember which winery it was years ago visited and a guy said that there's a bucket of flavour per acre. So you can either spread that bucket of flavour over yeah. five That's tons correct. or one ton. Yeah, yeah. And okay. so I think yeah. you know, and that's what I think hopefully you'll see in this wine. Yeah. That bucket of flavour is really concentrated yeah. in here. Yeah, it, it, and it really is. Right. It's also really elegant. Like, I'm going to say it again, yeah. elegant. Yeah, it's actually really elegant because it's not over top. <laughs> I love the finesse. <laughs> right. It's the difference between elegant and finesse. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Could, I didn't say it first. <laughs> Justin's always been yeah. in touch with his feminine stuff. So. <laughs> Some people describe this as a, an iron fist in a velvet glove. So it is sort of smooth and elegant, but it's still I've got the concentration before. and length. The iron fist in the velvet glove. I love it. <laughs> it's and my it's, line. Yeah, it's it's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Artisans of the Barossa. Now, I've heard about that before. Yep. Is that a little bit of a movement? So I guess it's all guys that are doing, um, not girls, doing similar stuff to us. Just um, really genuine, authentic wines. So getting back to the, the vineyard. Custodians right. of the future. Is this the future of the Barossa then? You boys? Like Taking the man. So. I'd like to think so. Why not, eh? There's probably a message for all you guys out there. The rise and surge of small producers is is really awesome at the moment. Everyone's doing really creative things and really exciting things. 
And that's what we have to foster and keep going yeah. forward the, the, with. The, the yeah. cycle's yeah. gone full circle, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, here, here. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Rise yeah. and surge of the young guns <laughs> in the yeah. 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 That's, that's mine. That's mine now. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, boys. I reckon you guys should make Wilbur. Boys, Wilbur. Wilbur the boys. Wilbur. <laughs> family pet or are you just waiting until you can... No, nah, he's a family pet. He, 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 will, he will die of natural causes of old age. Would you believe he's a miniature pig? <laughs> I've had worse. <laughs> Another drink? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, don't bite it. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes it. He does. <laughs> so, Tobes, right, well, Linky or Shul? Well, let's. <laughs> no one wants to admit it. I know. I love Linky Metworths. <laughs> I love Shul's bacon. Alright, uh, politician. So, how long have they been around? Oh, I see. <laughs> That's what you call one kilo T bone. <laughs> oh, oh my my God. God. <laughs> There is no way that's my fit pal. When you're talking to finest meats. You don't actually put any weight off. He doesn't need it. Stephen's got my uh, my marinated tofu to set it back. <laughs> Guess what Stephen has got? Tofu. <laughs> Who makes uh, the best Metwurst in the, in the Barossa? Do you need to ask? <laughs> Metwurst is like wine. As it matures, it gets better, the um, the spices work, and then sit down, it comes dry, and then chew it. That's just awesome. Well, thank you. We'll come thank back. Thank you very much. We're here for a few days. Okay. See you later. Thank you. Thanks, mate. So, where's your next chat, bitch? Mate, we're off to Limo's. Um, I think Dave's, Dave's making some of the most exciting booze at the moment. Here we go. Have some good booze. Let's go. Okay. Rock and roll. So, yeah. Guys, want a beer? Hard to work? Yeah, mate, yeah. Yeah, she's been one of those vintages. We've yeah. sort of uh, done the old proverbial bitten off more than we can chew when I'm at the chewing like buggery stage. But I'll tell you what, it's been an amazing vintage quality. It's just it's as good as I've seen. So, yeah? Yeah. Tell you what I've got here. Got some um, kilo T-bone steaks. Fantastic. And we're headed over to Apex Bakery that I... Mail? Yeah. I understand it's a bit of a oh, tradition. Oh, nice, mate. Yeah, yeah, into yeah. the oven. I don't know, if you, if you flat out to join us? Oh, shit, mate. Always got time to drop tools and come for a feed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, cheers, cheers. Let's do cheers. It. I mean, the thing about the Barossa is that, you know, we've been, I guess, in a way, we've shot ourselves in the foot because we've branded ourselves as these big, massive, bold producing, you know, producing these incredibly inky black Shirazes, but the Barossa is so much more than that. Benjamin's promised Shiraz. Uh, Benjamin's my, my son. Ah, well. Um, Ben's back to nine. Nine promise? Yeah, 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 a lot of promise, mate. Growing up, I really didn't want to get into the wine industry because. Peel being who he is, he casts a pretty long shadow and yeah, right. I don't know, I think I was faked out by a lot of people saying, oh, you've got big boots to fill there son, you know, yeah, it's yeah. going to be hard for you to step up to what your old man done. Just got to the point where I just realised that, hey, you know, you're a big boy, you can be your own man and just fucking do it because you enjoy it. Everything I do is about this, it's not about who you are, what you do or anything like that. For me it's the creation of wine, you know, it's, it's oh, mate, it's worse than heroin making wine. It's probably the best thing I've ever done. I actually sit there at night working in the winery by myself, giggling. <laughs> so how often does this happen? This uh... so this is every Friday. Oh, yeah. from the Just today. Here we go. See you, ladies. <laughs> hey, Andre. Just Brian. Just so this is your place. Yeah, it's a place we've been here for what, fifty years. Yeah, good lord. And three weeks ago, my first year. This is from Linky. It's about that thing. I don't know how it's going to go. About lunchtime. Love <laughs> <laughs> <Bloody> you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.